as a lesbian romance novel by Lynn Cheney, wife of VP Dick Cheney. Just checking. In her lesbian romance novel, Lynn calls sisters. She writes the following. I quote, let us go away from anger and the imperatives of men. We shall find a secluded bower where they dare not venture. There will be only the two of us and we shall linger into long afternoons in the evenings I shall read to you. While you do your cross stitch by the firelight You can't make this shit up, ladies and gentlemen Then we shall go to bed Our bed My dearest girl There's a romance from his novel by Saddam Hussein Called Zabiba Zabiba and the King All about a king who saves a poor washer A woman named Zabiba From the 19 year old western imperialist soldier Who wanted to rape her Zabiba is rescued on a white horse By a dark stranger who Later she discovered was very rich But only after Zabiba Had declared her love to the stranger Who really was a king Who really is a metaphor for Saddam Hussein So that Saddam He knew that Zabiba's love was truly genuine Not part of my material possessions Or fear like all of his previous lovers before her There's a romance, romance epic song by Taylor Mac, that's me. All about Lynn Cheney, wife of VP, and how she goes to see the execution of Saddam Hussein. It is held in a castle in Iraq, a castle where Saddam would kill and torture his victims. Saddam would call the palace of the end. Lynn has gone there for a photo op for a symbolic gesture of America being on top. She expects to be pleased when she sees Saddam die so violently. But as she sits down across from the protective glass, Saddam and Lynn make eye contact. And Lynn, caught off guard, allows her eyes to tell this story. All about her husband, Dick Cheney, and how he's away in his undisclosed location. Lynn is left alone to raise a lesbian daughter, teach her all about Jesus. Go on talk shows, campaigns, speak of family values. Every day she wears a power suit, not too flashy, but not feminine, but not manly. Powerful, eh? Suitable. And she works hard, she gives imperatives. Oh, she feels anger. So that she can find her husband in his undisclosed location, so that she can be an equal in the eyes of her love. And when Saddam sees Lynn, he too is caught off guard. In his eyes, they tell a story of how when he was just a wee lad, his father died or left him, and his mother, she remarried Ibrahim. Ibrahim was a shepherd. Shepherd, show me how to go like Ibrahim in the Bible, who you remember. God told Ibrahim to kill his son, or like Ibrahim in the Quran, who you remember. Allah said to abandon his family in the desert like those Ibrahims. This Ibrahim was very cruel, and he would often beat Saddam. Black and blue. And Saddam would steal chickens and sheep to please Ibrahim, please, please, 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 Ibrahim. 
said I never could please Ibrahim, never could please, 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 please Ibrahim. And he got himself into a subconscious vicious circle where he sought accumulation of treasures and power to get love. But Saddam never could get love, cause Saddam never could give love, though. Saddam never could give love, cause Saddam never could get love, though. Then Teddy never could get love, cause Then Teddy never could give love, though. Then Teddy never could give love, cause Then Teddy never could get love, though. Saddam never could get love, Teddy, never could get Saddam, and Saddam could get I told you it was epic. Then when Lynn saw Saddam and Saddam saw Lynn as he breathed the poison gas in Lynn breathed in and out with him through the protective glass she breathed in and out with him she breathed in and out together in and out and 